During a brief bout of boredom in the festive period, I bought Downwell on the App Store. I didn't really know much about it, but I'm a sucker for a good roguelike, so it was worth giving it a go. Just a few hours later, I would bought it on Steam as well. It has this empty, almost Virtual Boy-esque look and feel to it. Like an era of games gone by, retro in the way that so many other games try to ape, but fail to properly emulate. In typical roguelike fashion, the more you play, the more you unlock. This even includes colour schemes, allowing you to change the palette and potentially make the experience a little easier on the eyes. Or, you know, you can make it look like this. The constricted vertical descent your character takes has this almost eerie feel to it, but atmosphere quickly melts away as your head is swamped with min-max strategies and your hands twitch and spasm in frantic reaction to the insane pace. You have a combo multiplier, so the more enemies you manage to destroy on your way down without landing on a platform, the more gems you can amass. The more gems you have, the more cool stuff you can buy at the shop to shore up your run. But here's the thing. If you get too lost in continuing a combo, you can end up speeding past shops and upgrade rooms. It's a game that demands a surprising amount of reflex and attention. And even with a lot of upgrades, the ability to combo well and keep moving is invaluable. The further down you get, the more hazardous it becomes to rely on catching your breath on platforms at all. Eventually, you will be spending most of each level in perpetual motion. Your only weapon is a downward facing projectile, which you modify with pickups as you make your way through the multitude of floors. This attack also acts as a means to slow your freefall, and keeping note of your charges as you ricochet off of enemies is a skill that takes a fair few runs to get working. But there's something great about the flow that can result from either sheer dumb luck or seasoned skill. As spartan as it seems, Downwell creates intense explosive moments from a sturdy core concept and like all good roguelikes it manages to balance its difficulty well against any potential frustration. Restarting and facing the fall again may seem daunting, but it's such a quick and painless process that it begs for one more go. Just one more. Something that occurs to me every time I find myself getting involved with a new roguelike is how must it feel to be in loose competition with The Binding of Isaac. I've played a fair few of these games over the years, and as good as some of them have been, they never have managed to reach the same heights as Ed's Twisted Behemoth. Saturday Morning Delight Galaxy, Nuclear Throne, Rogue Legacy, and personal favourite Our Darker Purpose have all been stalled in the mid-card, never getting the push they need. Downwell has a cool aesthetic, and it feels great to play. But it just doesn't quite stack up against the champ, does it?